This video demonstrates the query interface in Open Specimen. Open Specimen has a very powerful reporting tool. It allows the users to easily create their own queries. So you need not have any IT supports uh, and you can also query for any data in the system. You can get the data out in the form of raw data or counts. Uh, you can create pivot tables, uh, something like what you can create in Excel. You can uh, create the report by applying multiple filters on any fields in the application so that you can look for specimens of interest. In the results view, you can define what columns you want to see. So this is completely configurable through the interface. Uh, so you can pick and choose any column from specimen, participants, any custom forms. Any uh, report or query you create, you can save it for future use. So you don't, you don't have to recreate it every time. And once saved, now you can share it with other users. So for example, administrators can build a set of queries which can be shared with the lab users which are used on a daily basis. One, uh, you also can download the report or data as a comma separated value file. And you can add the specimens to specimen cart so that uh, you can request per specimens or do any other operations like uh, bulk edit or adding events to a bulk uh, set of samples. Finally, uh, the, uh, the query interface is completely role based. So if a particular user does not have access to PHI, they will not be able to see any patient data using the query. Also, if uh, a user has only access to specific study, they will see only the data of uh, their own study. They will not be able to access uh, other site or other study data. So with that, uh, let's look at uh, the query interface. Uh, for uh, the sake of the training, let us use this example where we are looking for breast tumor available samples from female patients belonging to white race and diagnosed with carcinoma of breast. We'll be using the public demo site uh, to see the query interface. Uh, so from the home screen, you can either click on the queries card or from the navigation menu, you can click on queries. This would take you to the query dashboard. Uh, we'll talk about the query dashboard in a little while. Let's go ahead and create the new query. So this is the query builder where you can apply different filters. So let's do our query example where I want to look for female gender patients. So I'll put a filter as gender equals female gender, race equals white. Similarly, I can add other filters on visit, specimen. So since I want to add filter on diagnosis, And the, if there are too many values, you can just type in the value and it will show you the matching records. So we can use that filter. Now from specimen, I would like to add some more. So which would be anatomic site equals breast. And if I want to apply more than one uh, condition value, so I can use operator which is ease one off. So this would allow me to select multiple values like this. And I want only available specimens. So I'll say available quantity greater than zero. So as you can see, the operators are different for numeric fields. Uh, it's greater than, lesser than, whereas for text fields, you saw it's equal, starts with. So based on the field type, uh, the operators are shown different automatically. So once you have all these filters, now you can uh, see the results for it. So the query expression is shown on top. You can use different conditions to uh, form uh, more complex queries. Now let's say get count. This would show me the matching record. So there are two patients with five specimens matching these conditions. So let's look at them. In the, in the results view, by default, it shows me only the patient field. So there are two pa patients. So now I can click on columns and pick and choose what other columns I want to see. So 
let's add gender race and from so i want to see which study they belong to so i'll select collection protocol i can drag and drop the columns to change the order of uh, them in the results so now let me select the clinical diagnosis clinical status and in specimen i want to see say label type atomic site laterality pathological status and also where the specimen is stored so i'll select the storage details and hit done so this will refresh my results with the columns i selected as you can see it's showing me all the columns along with the storage uh, details like which box and which position it is stored in and we also have the feature where it shows the whole hierarchy like which freezer which rack is this box stored in so now once i have my results i can export it as a, a csv file comma separated value file i can save this query so that i don't have to recreate this query every time i can make some of the parameters parameters as parameterized so what this means is when i uh, run the query i can change the condition so i'll make this as all i'll show you in a little while what this means so some of these conditions i'll make it as all which means it it does not look for a specific anatomic site but in the results view you'll be able to apply more filters and look for the data so just these three filters i'll make it as parameterized and go ahead and save this so once i save this it would appear in my dashboard uh, by default the only the owner of the query can access this but you can share it with others so i can put this in a new folder and you can i can either say share this query or the folders uh, with certain users or i can share it with all so now uh, any user who logs in can access this uh, uh, query and when they click on this it will directly take you to the results view and they don't have to recreate the query and as you see the filters that i uh, made as parameterized come as on the left hand side so i can from the results view apply filters and look for the specimens uh, that uh, of interest so if i want i can just as you see it will show me all the values and i can select the ones that i want and the re results refreshes based on that so the the count shown is based on the filters i add so this way uh, you have uh, different features uh, with, through which you can look for the sh uh, query look for the specimens of interest and export the data you can add the specimens to cart as i mentioned uh, and you can uh, do other operations like request for specimens and things like that so uh, this is the intro of open specimen we'll be sharing more videos with uh, to form more complex queries if you have any other questions uh, please email us at support@openspecimen.org at or you can post your questions on forums.openspecimen.org thank you